cutting aluminum plate to precise dimensions with a knife. Regular shop box cutter knife. Now I don't know how much of this trick I've made up myself and how much I've picked up from different places, but I thought I'd try to formalize the knowledge and make a video on it because it is the best technique I've found. It is. So say we wanted, this is regular sheet aluminum stock, um, one and a half millimeters or so. And let's say we wanted a two centimeter slice of that. Here the measurements aren't critical. Well, anyway, there's a line scribe now, just with a carbide scribing tool and a machinist's, machinist's angle rule. And the trick is then just to put a, a flat ruler, preferably a steel ruler, along the line, picking up the scribe line with the knife blade, and simply doing shallow repeated cuts along that line. Going deeper each time, being very careful not to make, let the knife slip, because it really wants to slip, and uh, you can mess up your fingers quite bad. Also, if you make a, uh, if you kind of let it, you know, if it kind of skews off in the wrong direction, your, your workpiece is pretty much ruined, you can't recover that, because basically what we're doing is we're seeding a fault. And any deviation from a straight line will result in a wobbly edge. Picking up the edge around like that, and like this, and uh, simply doing the same on the other side. I'll spare you for that. Now the plate is scraped on both sides with a knife approximately, I don't know, half a millimeter deep on each side, um, five or so deep strokes all the way with a knife blade. Um, this will absolutely kill your knife blades, they only last once or twice. Um, still, um, it, it does work. Uh, oh, by the way, do not, I would not at least uh, recommend using the, uh, you know, the, um, the box cutter blades that kind of can, that kind of can be snapped off multiple times. Um, it's nicer to have like one thick solid blade because you do, like, it is more force than the blade is, is supposed to see, just to be on the safe side. Now this can be done better with with a vise with uh, jaws deep enough to, to hold the entire workpiece, but uh, it does work, you know, just like uh, over, a, over an edge on a table or, you know, a sharp edge. Hold down the workpiece as well as you can with the biggest bit sticking out and start wobbling very slightly, back and forth. And at some point, you'll feel it just, you know, flexing back and forth like, like you'd expect a big wobbly sheet to do, and then at some point it'll just start ever so slightly deforming, and without forcing it, just using the slightest movements, keep fatiguing that specific point until it gets really floppy and then it just breaks off. And that is a narrow, straighter cut that I could ever produce with a saw. So that is the trick, and it works on almost all imaginable thicknesses of aluminum. I don't know, I've never tried this with other metals, I suspect that um, it might not work as well on other metal, but uh, it could work on maybe copper as well. I have, however, used it on this thick gauge, three and a half millimeter aluminum front panel stock, and uh, this edge is actually an edge cut like that. Um, and you see, it is, it is absolutely, almost, you know, sheer straight and nice. So it is a pretty good method. I use it extensively and. Um, I haven't hacksawed any aluminum part in a year now, I think. So that's it. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you found that interesting. Um, it did save me a lot of time once I uh, once I figured out that you could do that.